This video is available in English and Hindi. Namaskar. Welcome back to your channel Simply Fat Your Space. How are you all doing? As for me, I have been busy deep cleaning and decorating my house which I was delaying for some reasons. Summer has just started and truly testing us. Summer also means mango season and what better drink to cool down with than aam panna. I prepared aam panna concentrate last week and enjoying it every day. If you are interested in the recipe you can check out my Instagram reel or YouTube short for reference. As summers are usually not so hot in Bengaluru, lot of homes do not have ACs or even if they do, they don't use them much. We have one AC installed in our master bedroom that stays off throughout the year only to be used for a few weeks at this time of the year. I hope the monsoon arrives soon so that we can get some relief from this scorching heat. Just by changing the bedding the whole room feels refreshed. Changing bed sheet is one of my weekly tasks and I finished it today. Since we moved into this house I haven't had time to decorate the walls. All of the decorations are still piled up in this drawer and in one corner of the guest bedroom. Today I am planning to put up this beautiful mandala art wall decoration in the master bedroom. It looks amazing. I usually don't go for a lot of decoration. Just one wall with a painting or wall art is enough for me. It's looking so nice. I also ordered a customized nameplate which is so beautiful. I have been planning to put it up for a while and I'm finally going to do it today. The rest of the wall decoration will be done throughout the week. Today I also need to deep clean the big appliances like washing machine, tumble dryer and dishwasher. After using them for 1 to 2 months, they need to be deep cleaned for better maintenance and performance. To clean my washing machine, I add 1 cup of white vinegar to the machine and run a hot water cycle by selecting the drum cleaning option. This process helps dissolve any soap residue, mineral build up or debris that might be in my machine. While my washing machine is undergoing the cleaning cycle, I also clean my dishwasher. I place a bowl of white vinegar on the top rack of the dishwasher to deodorize it and use the self cleaning cycle. As both machines are self cleaning, I take the time to clean my tumble dryer, which I use to dry clothes in monsoon and winter season. First, I remove the lint filter and clean it thoroughly by removing all the lint. Then I use a vacuum cleaner and toothbrush to clean out the lint trap area where the filter sits. Making sure to remove any debris that may have accumulated in this area including the door and wiping it with a damp cloth. I wipe down the interior of the drum with a damp cloth to remove any debris, lint or residue that may be stuck to it. Next I remove the cover and heat exchanger from underneath the lint trap area and clean it thoroughly.
To finish the cleaning process, I wash all the accessories with dish liquid and water and let them dry completely which is crucial for dryer. Many of you enquire about the solution I use to clean appliances. So I just use a mix of 2 tablespoon dish liquid, 1 fourth cup vinegar and water in a spray bottle. While these accessories drying, I will clean the washing machine and dishwasher as well as their cleaning cycle is over. While the washing machine is still damp, using a soft cloth to wipe down the inside of the drum, the door and gasket. This will help to remove any remaining residue or buildup. To ensure better machine performance, it is important to clean the filter underneath which tends to accumulate a lot of dirt and grime. When I remove the detergent dispenser, it becomes clear just how dirty this area can get after daily use. To remedy this, I thoroughly wipe down the area and clean both the filter and detergent dispenser. I then allow them to dry for a while before putting them back. Moving on to the dishwasher, I first remove the racks and then the filter which accumulates a lot of grime and food residue. Using a damp cloth, I wipe down the interior of the dishwasher including the walls, door and ceiling, paying special attention to the corners and crevices where food and debris can accumulate. Now I clean the filter with a scrub pad and a soft brush to remove any debris or residue that may have accumulated on it. Next I remove the spray arms from the dishwasher rack and clean it thoroughly with a soft brush, making sure to check for any clogs in the spray holes and remove any debris. After cleaning, I put everything back to the dishwasher. All the other accessories are dry now. I put everything back in place. The detergent dispenser looks nice and shiny and the filter is also nicely cleaned. Finally, I use a damp cloth to wipe down the exterior of all the machines including the control panel and knobs. Here I would like to add a tip. For a washing machine and dishwasher with bad odor, add a half cup of baking soda to it and run another hot water cycle. This helps to deodorize and further clean the machine. And that's it for today. Regularly cleaning and maintaining your machines will ensure better performance and prolong their lifespan. Take care of them and they will take care of you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. See you all next week. Happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.